Hello Zebraherd and welcome back to Lego City Undercover. And today we're gonna be continuing on, of course, with the free play sections. I need to quickly, before we do anything else, go to the extras and apply all of the awesome stuff we have uh, unlocked recently, or at least some of it, right? We have a whole bunch of stun multipliers. We can now get times 384, which is very cool. I think we're about to unlock this next red brick sometime between now and the end of today's episode. Um, we're gonna attract studs, attract bricks, super throw, sure, why not? Extra hearts, sure. <laughs> Fast build, um, these don't matter too much for right now. Okay, I'm excited about that. That should be pretty gosh darn good right there because we should be tackling the last two levels of uh, LEGO City's Undercover Story Mode today, which are uh, this one, right? Yeah, this is Blackwell's Mansion Investigation. This is the second to the last level. We're missing a gold brick, a police shield piece, and a secret character. Not much to find here, so let us get started. Can we take out this? Oh, hey, that is definitely something I've not done. And seeing how I'm only missing, ooh, that's gonna be in. So I gotta look for torches on the wall, because I never bothered to do that. I didn't think about it. Well, we almost, okay, there we go. We have over a million studs for this level. I've barely done anything. But uh, security means Natalia's nearby. I know for a fact I never tried that, so I'm excited to look around for some more torches. Oh, there's another one. Um, so we'll definitely get that done because that'll be guaranteed our one missing police shield piece. So here's two out of six, is it? Uh, that means we have a lot of work ahead of us, but it's still work worth doing if this could work, please. Uh, come on, come on, ready? Come on, there we go, two out of six. So I don't even think we had, no, we did have the, uh, this from at this point. But there we go, holy cow, that's so many said Six million. We are never gonna be low on cash again, I can say that much. But I can really skip a lot of this stuff by doing it this way. It's really, oh wait, there's an invisible wall there, really game? You really have to do that? Can I get up here maybe? Oh no, they really make it tough for you to do that. I guess just because they know, because you should already have it at this point, so they make it really tough Silver to cheat. Statue. Okay, so there's another torch. We'll go ahead and grab that one. That shouldn't be too big of a deal, I just have to avoid you guys. Look at how many studs we have right now. I think we actually have more studs right now than we have in total, you know? Which is pretty crazy. <laughs> I don't know if there'll be anything we'll have a problem buying in this game ever again, but you never know. I mean, I think there might be one more stun multiplier we can get. Usually, uh, there's a time 16 as well in most LEGO games, so that might be the case here. I just have to go and get it whenever I find that opportunity, but uh, for now, I must search for more torches. All right, so here's another one right here. Got it, there's four out of six, only two more to go. Where could they be? I wonder if I could just astronaut up here. Uh, let's find the astronaut. No, not quite. Maybe, but not really. Okay, I'll try to figure this out then. Ah, here we go, what is this gonna be? This is certainly gonna be something interesting. So let's see this. Maybe this is our last, who it is our last character token for this area. It is Forrest Blackwell Casual, which I think means he's in his robes. Very casual, Mr. Blackwell, very casual. Okay, then let's go ahead and get the firefighter because I see more two more torches. That worked together perfectly, not in there. Let's go ahead and do that, five out of six. There's some ba bad guys over here who wanna beat me up. I don't care. Uh, this will let me go ahead and douse him if I need to. Uh, there we go, a six out of six, so that should be everything. One red brick, two characters, two vehicles, and the finished police shield. Let's save and return to Lego City. That one was super easy, though. We're all just outside of the uh, mansion itself. So easy, easy stuff there. I'm happy to have gotten it done, which means we have one last level to do. And this one might take me a little bit longer because it is a super duper long level, but I can only hope that I got everything. But uh, there we go, there's 57 gold bricks. Let us keep going on and move to the moon. That sounds like fun. Okay, so the final level should be all the way out here on the moon base area. Is it this one? No, we got everything here. This is the uh, space center. We need to go to Blackwell's moon base, which we're missing one red brick, one gold brick, one vehicle, one police shield piece, and that's it. That shouldn't be too bad. The red brick might be a little bit tricky, but that should be our time 16 studs, which is super over exciting. At least I think so, maybe you do too. Because time 16, it should give us like, what? Uh, about times 4,000, I think. Which usually, it seems to be the same thing for every LEGO game, they do the times two, four, six, eight, and 16? I'm pretty sure. We don't have to see the cutscenes, of course, watch the story mode playthrough if you wanna see those. But uh, instantly I'm seeing some Rex Fury stuff, which really should be the most of what I'm missing, because remember, when we did these levels, we already had all the characters, just like last level, that's why last level was so easy. Um, so we really shouldn't have too big of a problem. I mean, we're missing one police shield piece, I wonder what that's gonna be. I'm not really sure. 
But for now, and like the one police show piece, piece we missed uh, last time was just because I forgot. Uh, I, I forgot that I, like, I didn't notice the torches uh, when I was playing the last level the first time. That's what I missed out on there. Um, but the problem is that, the unfortunate thing is I can't really cheat most things like I, I would normally want to. Uh, because um, they know that I would have the astronaut thing here and they don't want me to use it. So that's sort of a shame, but it's not the end of the world. We already have two million studs in this level. I didn't see my total, total stud count, but I figure I can go back and deal with that later. This doesn't look like it's finished. Yeah, I can't use it right here. I mean, I don't know what I'm missing. As you can see, I did the uh, Rex Fury thing and that said one out of three, but that's obviously for this here, which I don't really need. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring this back down so I can bring it back up. Um, and we're just gonna get across. I'm gonna try to find more Rex Fury things, which will probably be our one missing thingamajig. And then we'll see what else we can find beyond that. Okay, so there is one right here. I didn't even notice this going by it. So everybody leave Rex Fury alone. He's breaking some boxes. Two out of three right there, awesome. So we need to find one last box and I think it's up there on the top. So I'll try to get that. If I can just get these guys to leave me alone, I can just, I'm just ignoring them at this point. They must, that's why they're mad at me, because I keep ignoring them, <laughs> except for that one. Okay, so oh, I gotta hit this one as well. There you go. Okay, so I'll just go through and I'll see you guys later, goodbye. <laughs> Can't believe that works, that is funny. Um, okay, yeah, there's the last Rex Fury thing. Then what do we gotta do beyond that? I mean, I gotta find the red brick and I think one last secret character. So let's try that out first. Oh, the red brick's in there. Does this open this or open the red brick? I, I don't know. Uh, oh. oh, it does both. Look at that. Awesome, so we just got ourselves the red brick as well. I don't know what that's gonna have. So now we are only missing one last vehicle. Let's try to find that. Oh, this must be it. Okay, let's see. Oh, here we go. It is, whoa, that is huge, it's a payload. So that means we got everything. One red brick, two secret characters, two secret vehicles, and four pulley shield pieces, that is awesome. So we can actually finish with this. We can save and return to Lego City because we just got every secret collectible you could find in every single le level in this game. That is awesome. So I don't really know what happens now, except for a huge amount of accomplishment. Uh, we should get a, maybe like an achievement for that or something, that'd be cool, maybe that's why the game's getting so laggy right now. Uh, I have no clue, this, this is ridiculously laggy. There we go, trophy earned shield collector, because we unlocked every shield. We have also unlocked every character and every vehicle and every gold brick we could possibly get through this. We obviously have much more gold bricks to go, but I'm not really too worried about that. Let us return to Lego City. I am so happy right now. Okay, so we are back. I mean, at this point, once again, uh, we can see for ourselves, uh, every level should be completed, and we do have the times 10 studs now, so I could go ahead and equip those. So at this point, it's really up to you guys what you wanna see next. Um, if you guys wanna see me do more, you can always let me know. If you guys want me to go through the city and start unlocking things in the future episodes, I would love to. Now that we have times 3,000, no, actually, yeah, that's usually what they have for a Lego game, 3,480. Is there any way I can teleport back? I mean, sometimes I, I really don't know. Um, It'd be great if there is. Here to, yeah, I know, go here to purchase, but I guess there's no way to quickly travel. I mean, I don't know, maybe there is a way to quick travel. I, I'm not aware of it at the moment, maybe I just have to run all the way back. But for now, we are all wrapped up when it comes to Lego City Undercover story mode. Everything is completely unlocked. Um, we could spend some time finishing some things up since I do have some time in today's episode. And it's definitely probably a bit of a short one for you guys so far. We could go to, what is going on over there? That jet ski's having a lot of fun all by itself. Uh, we could go to a vehicle booth and we could go to a character customization booth and we could purchase all of the customizations and all of the everything that we've gotten so far. That sounds like it could be fun. That way we have everything that we've unlocked, like purchased so far. And then if we were to continue with the series, we would just be free roaming across the entire Lego city, going from area to area, trying to get everything done. So if that sounds interesting to you guys, all you have to do is let me know and I will definitely get it done. So yeah, be free to do that. But for now, we'll go to this character customization booth. We'll take a look at everything. If we go to the police section, we can see there's only one character we've yet gotten, and that's the, the uh, 
just a chase suit when he's in this weird little purple suit. And, oh wow, we have 146 million studs. Oh no, there's another one over here. So this one is the stud skin. And these are really, really cheap compared to how much we have. And we also have our custom character, which is really cool. Didn't even realize they had that in this one. So for a criminal, of course, we have Rex Fury, but we can also get 250,000 for Forrest Blackwell Casual. Um, very cool, yeah, he's like in his little robe. Uh, we have Forrest Blackwell suit, another 250,000. Of course, we gotta bring up the big bucks for the uh, rich guy. So there's that. There's Sentinel Deckern. I didn't really see how much he was for. I think it was only like 10,000. 20,000 for Jimmy Grossman. He's looking pretty gross, man. All right, um, here we have 20,000 for Spiky Don. He's got a spiky hair donned on his head. Ha ha, all the puns right now. Um, there is Vinny Papalardo for 100,000. Not bad, not bad, I love Vinny. And we have 50,000 for Mo DeLuca, one of Vinny's underlings. And then we have Blue Whitaker for, what is that 40,000? I love Blue Whitaker, you don't see him too much in this game. And then 20,000 for Snake Squealer. I don't like him too much. He's got his, his hands in his pocket, but it sort of looks like he's just holding on to his hips. And uh, we got just a normal prisoner for 10,000. And then that's it, we could also, oh, we get customs for even this, that's actually really cool. We're gonna stick with Rex Free, cause he, like as you can see, is that star because we have him equipped? Or is that star because he's special? That star is because we have him equipped. But there's things that Rex Fury can do that no other, color, or no other character I know of can do. It looks like we don't have any custom mining characters right now to unlock. Uh, for the astronauts, we have a ton. We have 20,000 the space scientist. Uh, Hadix Jemson for 10,000. Really weird name, but here you are. Your sideburns are insane. Um, 10,000 for Brantford Cubbery. <laughs> Another scientist. Uh, 10,000 for Space Man. Very interesting. Uh, 10,000 for Space Villain. Oh, that is cool, I like that. And then is there any more? Not yet, that's just another custom. So we'll just you know go back to Chase McCain and then go to the Farmers where we don't have anything unlocked yet. And then for you, this is the Firefighters, we have Jade Crosby for 20,000. Oh, she looks cool, I like her. And then Ro Ramon Lopez Delgado, 30,000. This is a guy who taught us how to be a firefighter, so that's pretty cool to have him. And then we have you. This is a construction worker for 20,000. We got construction foreman. And then we also have Will Miles for 10,000. I don't remember who he is. Uh, and then we have the normal Chase McCain, where there's even more options. We have the residents, like Natalia Kowalski. How much was that? Not too much, I guess. That's cool. That's sort of actually weird that you can disguise as your girlfriend. Barry Smith, the guy who taught, taught us Kung Fu. Uh, for 40,000, we have Henrik Kowalski. Oh yeah, uh, Natalia's father. 5,000 for Karate Guy. It can't forget Karate Guy. Um, here we have Conrad Peters for 2,000, not very expensive. I guess, I think he was one of the news reporters that was in a helicopter. Guy Newbury for 2,000, he might be our cheapest guy yet. Okay, he seems to enjoy a low cost le living, I would imagine. Uh, we have Special One for 10,000, we have the Caveman, and yeah, we locked him in the uh, museum level. It was very intense. Oh wow, so like some characters meet different categories. Like the Spaceman, of course, is still also the astronaut. We have the Spartan Warrior for 10,000. Pretty intense. Uh, we have the Karate Master for 10,000. Oh, I like that, it looks pretty intense as well. And then down here we have the Mummy for 10,000. <laughs> I love that. And that seems to be it there. So for locked, wait, this is entirely locked? Weird, it's special too. Either way, we got an intergalactic girl in this one. We have Mechanic, pretty cool. Oh, hey, I just unlocked this Mechanic in a Lego Worlds for the 1950s stuff, pretty cool. This is Service, oh, I like this. Wait, Submarine Captain is a Service? Oh, okay, we have the Bank Manager, so different kind of workers and stuff. <laughs> he looks very conniving, that's weird. Uh, we have Residents again. Okay, so I made my way all the way around there, so that's every character we have been able to unlock through the story mode stuff. Um, I don't think we've unlocked any characters outside of that. I feel like we've accidentally unlocked a vehicle or two or something along the way. But uh, yeah, no, that's not what I want. I'm trying to just find a way back to the city. Would this do it for me? I mean, I guess so. All I'm trying to do is find my way to a vehicle unlock station. Uh, The only one I'm aware of 
Travel to, sure, I would love to if I could right now, but I guess it won't let me. I don't know, this stuff is really silly. Um, I'm just gonna make my way. I know that there is a vehicle spawning station like right here, oh no, right here. So I will try to get there and I'll be back whenever you know I get there. Okay, so I've done, I've purchased some of these. I had to, you know, for the little pictures for the videos that I did, the thumbnails. Um, but I figured I'd show off everything that we have. We have the squad, we have the bastion, now we do. Uh, we have the rhino, we have the trooper, we have the extender, we have the fire tracker. These are all emergency vehicles and that's all we can get from here. Um, I plan on showing these off more in depth. If we do unlock everything, I'll show off everything in depth. I'll like dedicate entire videos to it. We got the, these are the, uh, the worker vehicle is my favorite. We have the dumper, we have the foundation, which um, you know is a uh, a cement truck. We have the payload, which we just unlocked, which must be huge. It's super cool, like a big semi truck with big old rig on the back, I guess. A relocator. Um, yeah, this just was for relocating like the, the turbine of like a rocket or something. I don't remember. Uh, we got a roller here, of just a steamroller. We have a slogger, which of course is a uh, pickup truck. We got a Steadfast, just a normal truck, like a dump truck, I guess, sort of. Well, also not really. And those are all the worker trucks we seem to have. For the compact cars, cars we have the Akazo, the Ancestor, the Jalopy, I like that one, uh, the Pumpkin. I, I think that's a, that's a Natalia's car. We got the Schmoozer, weird. It's just like a car without a top. The, ta the Talos, that just looks pretty cool. It's like a buggy, I like it. Um, we got the heavy, so heavier vehicles here. We got the broadcaster, like the broadcasting van. Um, Garano, I have no clue. Looks like it's just supposed to be like a smaller, you know, pickup truck kind of thing. We got the Gotland, which is a very cool van. I like this one. Uh, the Ironback, big old monster truck kind of truck, I guess. We got the LERV, which is the uh, moon rover, I think. Uh, and then we have performance vehicles. I don't have any of these unlocked. That's gonna change here. We got the Dullahan. I think this is a uh, Forrest Blackwell's car. We got the Roar. <laughs> you gotta be confident in your car if you name it the Roar. That looks pretty cool. We have the Scout. That's pretty cool. Uh, convertible. Silversmith, now this looks awesome. I haven't been looking at the prices, but it doesn't matter. We have too many, too much money for it to matter. Uh, Forrest Blackwell would be, his jaw would drop with that, with how much money we have now. It's like we inherited all of his cash when we arrested him. We got the buzzer. <laughs> I like it. I love motorcycles, so it's pretty cool. We got Rex's Brute. That's cool. He has a cool three-wheeler. We got the hair dryer. <laughs> looks like a little pizza delivery scooter. That's nice. And then finally, the scoot. We got the scoot. I wanna spawn that one in because that's the last vehicle we can show off here. So yeah, those are all the vehicles and characters I have unlocked at the point, at this point in time. If you wanna see me unlock more through just exploring the sea, I would love to hear about it. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Lego City Undercover. If you want to spin a video, make sure you comment Zebra Scoot, so now you've watched the end of the you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. By the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye bye.